Using cellulose is a popular way to insulate attics. In fact, this home is nearly finished, ready for insulation. The drywall's already up, which has to be, so you can spray the cellulose over the course of the attic. Joining me is Rick Chitwood to tell us how to do it right, and he's from Chitwood Energy Management Services. Rick, what do we want to look for in order to get a good insulation job when using cellulose in attics? With loose fill cellulose, we're basically looking at two important things, and that's the density and also the total number of inches. To help us assure that we get the right density, the installers use what's a, called a coverage chart. And it has on there, on the other side, the number of bags it takes to cover um, a certain number of square footage. So they know how many bags they have to put in the attic. Typically, they count bags at the truck to make sure that they install enough. And we make sure we got the right number of uh, bags that equal the right amount of insulation for the size of our home. Exactly. Going in cellulose, Rick, is a fairly simple process. Explain what's going on. It is. They have the material and a machine in the truck that actually just blows the in insulation into the attic through a three-inch hose. So the person in the truck opens the bags and pours them in a hopper where the material's agitated. And then the person in the attic, his job is just to make sure it gets distributed nice and evenly. Now what do we want to look at when we're actually blowing the insulation in? What should we, what should we be careful of? The, the most important thing is to make sure that the coverage is even. Um, especially in the back corners, it's easy to get shorted back there. It's a hard to see area. So the installers have to use uh, extra care to go clear to the back corners. To help them do that, they install attic rulers. They'll position those in the back corners where it's hard to make sure that the coverage is adequate. That helps them see that they get to their desired R value. Now, um, as far as uh, where you insulate up against the E vents and things of this nature, you got to take some precautions there. Right. They use uh, special cardboard baffles or other baffles to make sure that the cellulose doesn't block the airflow through the e-vent. It's also important to get the cellulose or the insulation all the way out to the outside edge Absolutely. of the plate so you don't get any thermal bridging right there. The right. And they also have to take special precaution at all sorts of areas. Around recessed lights, we need to make sure those areas get filled in completely and the lights get covered. If they're the right type of lights, right? Right. Um, we also have to deal uh, with platforms that are constructed to hold the HVAC equipment to make sure that there's insulation to full depth underneath those, around ducting, around plumbing, wiring, just the whole gambit of details that have to be dealt with properly. So the key is to make sure it's uniformly placed at the right density and the right uh, depth. Exactly. Now you've brought some thermography um, uh, with you and we can use this as a way to find out uh, where defects are in insulation. Right. The video I brought is one that was filmed in the winter, so the darker colors are the areas of heat loss. So tell us what we're seeing. Well, typically what we see is the colder colors at areas that aren't performing well. So where the insulation or framing members aren't to full thickness or full performance, we see darker colors. And we see a few areas on this tape. Um, this house is a cellulose house. It's also being depressurized with a blower door to about 50 pascals or about 0.2 inches of water column. And that's the same as about a 20 mile an hour wind blowing across the home. Yes, and what it simulates is that we have air infiltration moving into the house from all directions. So this way we're able to assess not only the performance of the insulation, but we're able to find air infiltration areas. Yeah, and as, as air moves through insulation, it reduces its R value, so it's pretty important that you test with this pressure difference so you can really see how the insulation performs. Right. All those air infiltration areas need to be caulked and sealed and eliminated. Great. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you.